While working in Excel, sometimes we have to sort a data set in ascending order. Sometimes we have to sort them in descending order. These are accomplished pretty conveniently. But sometimes we have to sort a data set in a custom order. Then it becomes quite challenging. Hey there, Excel enthusiasts. Welcome to Excel Demi, your go-to destination for mastering Excel and Excel VBA related challenges. I'm Shahriya Rabra Rafid and in today's video, I'll be showing a detailed guide on how to create a custom sort list in Excel. So let's roll up our sleeves and get started. For this tutorial, I'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. Here, I have a dataset with the names, marks in maths, and grades of some students of a school called Sunflower Kindergarten. There are a total of six different grades A, B, A, A, C, and F. My objective today is to sort the students according to their grades from A to F. That means the sorting sequence will be A, then A, then A, B, then C, and lastly F. Before starting further, I have already created a sorting list in the worksheet maintaining the desired sequence. To highlight them further, I have given them 6 different colors. And here's the corresponding color codes are available beside the grids. First, I have to create a custom sort list. You can do this easily using the custom list dialog box in Excel. Go to the file tab, then click on options. You will get a new window called Excel options. Alternatively, you can press Alt plus F plus T on your keyboard to open it. Now, click on Advanced from the left pane. Scroll down through the window. Under the General section, you will find a button called Edit Custom Lists. Click on it. You will get the Custom Lists dialog box. Under the Custom Lists tab, you will find all the default sorting lists like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, which are weekdays, or January, February, March for month. Now click on new list. Then in the list entries section, write down the names of your custom entries separated by a comma following your desired sort order. For the sake of this example, write A plus comma A comma A minus comma B comma then C and finally F. After that, click on the add button and it's added to the custom list. You can also delete any list from the custom list section. Just select the list and click on the delete button. It will show a warning message that the list will be permanently deleted. Click on OK and it's deleted now. You can also insert a cell reference from the dataset to create a custom sort list in Excel. For this, you have to open the custom lists dialog box like before. Then in the import lists from cells box, select the cell reference of the recently created custom sort list. Here I am selecting cells in the F5 to F10 range. Then click on the import button. Immediately you can see these entries in the list entries section. And they are also added in the custom lists. Click on the OK button to finish the process. Again OK to close this window. Now I have finished creating the custom sorting list. This time I shall use this list to sort the dataset. Select the dataset along with the titles. Go to the Home tab in the Editing group of commands, click Sort and Filter drop-down. You'll see a few options. Here, select Custom Sort. You'll get a dialog box named Sort. Alternatively, you can use the keyboard shortcut to open this wizard. Press Alt A S S and it will give the same result. Make sure to check the box My Data Has Headers if it's not selected. Under the Column section, select the title of the column according to which you want to sort. For the sake of this example, select grid. Under the sort on section, select cell values. And under the order section, select the custom list. You will get the custom lists dialog box. Select your desired list from this box. I've selected my recently created list. Click on OK. Again click OK to close this dialog box. You will get your data set sorted according to the custom order. If you want, you can add another label in the sort panel to sort the marks in descending order after sorting according to the grades. Again, open the sort dialog box like before. Click on the add label button. Here, select the marks column and choose the order largest to smallest and click OK. You will get the data set sorted according to the descending order of the marks along with the grades. In the previous section, I've already shown how to use the custom sort in Excel. 
but sometimes it's observed that custom sort is not working in Excel perfectly. Now I'll mention some reasons and their solutions for why the custom sort is not working in Excel. The first reason of the custom sort is not working in Excel is due to the presence of blank cells in your data. If there are blank cells in the data set, then custom sorting will not work appropriately. Cells may be blank due to data not being available or any mistake in inserting data in the data set. Let's sort this data set now. You can see after sorting, blank cells are in the last positions of the data set, though their marks are higher than the upper ones. To solve this, insert the data on the blank cells and apply the custom sort again. Let's type down the grade according to their marks. A, C, A+. I'll not apply the fill color in these cells so that you can notice the change after sorting easily. Now let's sort the entire data set again. Look, they are now sorted in perfect order. The second reason is hidden rows, which create problem in custom sorting. When we apply custom sort in a data set, it will escape if any row or column is hidden. Here, row 12 and row 16 are hidden. Now, sort this data set. Then, unhide the hidden rows from the data set. Select these rows. Right click on the mouse, from the context menu click on unhide. Here you can see that they are sorted properly. So always unhide rows and columns from the data set then apply custom sorting. Let's see it now. Now it's absolutely fine. Sometimes it's seen that leading spaces exist in the data set. After sorting, these rows get to the last of the data set. Let's see it first. It considers space as a character and sort data based on this space. To get rid of this, we should remove leading spaces from the dataset before sorting data. You can use the trim function to remove leading spaces from the dataset. Insert i5, place an equal sign, then bring the trim function. As the text argument, select cell d5, close the parenthesis, and press enter. Use the fill handle to do the same for the remaining cells. Now, press Ctrl plus C to copy them. Go to cell D5, right click on the mouse, from the context menu as the paste option, select paste as values. Let's sort the data set now. Look, it's working perfectly. If the sorting column contains data of different types, you'll not be able to sort them properly. The merge column should contain data of number type, but there are some data of text type. Now I'll apply custom sort first based on the grade column, then based on the marks column. In the sort warning dialog box, click OK. Due to different data types, sorting based on the grade column works successfully. But on the marks column, the text data occurs in the top position, then the number data were sorted. Here you can see that 66 is above 68, but it should be below of this. To get rid of this, we must confirm all data of a particular column must be in a single data type. So select the entire marks column, go to the home tab in the number group of commands, select the number format drop down and choose the number format. Decrease the decimal. Now select the text cells, press F2, then enter. It gets changed to number format. Repeat this process for the other two cells. Now sort them again. And here's the result. In this tutorial, I have shown the necessary steps to create a custom shortlist in Excel. Follow them carefully to create it yourself. Download the workbook from the description box so you can practice it yourself. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please let us know in the comments section. You can have a glance at exceldemy.com or join our thriving Exceldemy community forum where you can post your Excel and VBA challenges and get solutions from experts and fellow users. If you like this video, consider subscribing and click the bell icon. Thanks for watching.